morning children in my last video we all learned how to add and subtract like fractions also we learned the logic why do we only add and subtract the numerators and why we never add or subtract the denominators because the denominator denotes the total number of parts in which a thing has been divided so children in this video we are going to learn how to add and subtract unlike fractions so in this first of all we will change the given unlike fractions into like fractions how we are going to do i will explain you with the help of the powerpoint presentation so let's go and do that today children we are going to do addition as well as subtraction of unlike fractions okay we will start with simple fractions like 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 these two fractions are unlike fractions since they have different denominators now we all know how to add like fractions suppose we are able to convert these two fractions to like fractions then it will become very easy for us to add them so how should we convert them to like fractions okay i have an idea if we multiply the numerator and the denominator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction we will get an equivalent fraction which will be equal to the original fraction what does this mean it means i will multiply 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 why because 3 is the denominator of the second fraction then i will multiply 1 by 2 and 3 also i will multiply by 2 why i will multiply it by 2 because 2 is the denominator of the first fraction so in this way we will get two fractions two new fractions which will be equivalent to the original fractions 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 3 okay let us see how see 1 multiplied by 3 and 2 multiplied by 3 so children in equivalent fractions we have already studied that if you multiply the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by the same number the new fraction which comes it is equal to the original fraction and now 1 upon 3 we are multiplying the numerator by 2 and the denominator also by 2 and my new children why i am multiplying this 1 upon 2 by 3 because the denominator of second fraction is 3 and why i am multiplying 1 upon 3 by 2 because the denominator of first fraction is 2 okay so let us see the next step 3 1 3 And two threes are six. One twos are two, and three twos are six. So one upon two and three upon six, they mean the same. They are equal fractions, equivalent fractions. Also, one upon three and two upon six also mean the same. Why? Because they are also equivalent fractions. so instead of adding these two unlike fractions now we are going to add these two like fractions and the result would be the same exactly the same as it would have been if we added these two fractions okay now 3 upon 6 
plus 2 upon 6. If you remember, when I was teaching you addition of like fractions, I told you, whenever we have to add two like fractions, we only add the numerators and we never add the denominators. So 3 plus 2 is 5 and the answer is 5 upon 6. So children, 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 5 upon 6. Okay, let us go to another question. 1 upon 5 plus 3 upon 4. These two are also unlike fractions because they have different denominators. So first step is we should make them into like fractions. How are we going to make them into like fractions? We will multiply the numerator and denominator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. After that, we will multiply the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. In this manner, we will have two equivalent fractions whose denominators are same. It means we will have two equivalent fractions which will be like fractions. Okay, let us do the second step. 1 multiplied by 4 and 5 multiplied by 4. What we have done? We have multiplied the numerator and denominator by 4. And in this fraction, we have multiplied the numerator and denominator by 5. Okay, now let us move to the next step. Next step is 1 4 is 4. 5 4 is 20. Here 3 5 is 15. And 4 5 is 20. See children, we got the same denominator. These two are like fractions. And... 1 upon 5 is equal to 4 upon 20 because they are equivalent fractions. Same way, 3 upon 4 is equal to 15 upon 20. Again, because they are equivalent fractions. Okay. So now, we have got two like fractions. Now, it is so simple. We have to just multiply, sorry, not multiply, we have to just add their numerators. So 15 plus 4 is equal to 19 upon 20. The denominator will remain the same. We will never add the denominators, children. We will only add the numerators. Okay, let us go to the next fraction. 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 6. Again, we have unlike fractions. One fraction has 4 as the denominator and one fraction has 6 as the denominator. No problem. We will multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by, by 6. And we will multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by 4. Okay, let us do this step. 1 multiplied by 6 upon 4 multiplied by 6. Since we are multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number, we will get an equivalent fraction. Here we are multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 4. In this case also we will get an equivalent fraction. Okay, let us move to the next step. 1, 6 are 6. And 4, 6 are 24. Here also 1, 4 is 4. And 6, 4 is 24. Now we have got two like fractions. Simply we have to add the two numerators. So 6 plus 4 is 10. The answer is 10 upon 24. So children, I hope you would have understood addition of unlike fractions please practice some some uh, take some unlike fractions and add them up and follow this procedure 
definitely you will get the correct answer okay now let us move to subtraction of unlike fractions okay children now we are going to do subtraction of unlike fractions it is the method is exactly the same like addition the only difference is in last step instead of adding we have to subtract okay let us start now 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 3 now again these are unlike fractions so let us multiply the numerator of 1 upon 2 by 3 and we will multiply the numerator and denominator of 1 upon 3 by 2 okay let us do the second step 1 multiplied by 3 and 2 multiplied by 3 minus 1 multiplied by 2 and 3 multiplied by 2. Okay. 1 3 is a 3 and 2 3 is a 6. 1 2 is a 2 and 3 2 is a 6. So we have 3 upon 6 minus 2 upon 6. So children, what is 3 minus 2? 3 minus 2 is 1 and the answer is 1 upon 6. Easy children? This is exactly like we have done addition. The, the first two steps are exactly like that. Only in the last step we have to do subtraction. Okay, now let us go to this. 3 upon 4 minus 1 upon 5. Okay, we have unlike fractions. Let us change into like fractions. Okay. 3 upon 4. 3 multiplied by 5 upon 4 multiplied by 5. Minus 1 upon 5. 1 multiplied by 4 and 5 multiplied by 4. Okay. Next step is 3 5s are 15 and 4 5s are 20. Minus 1 4 is 4 and 5 4 is 20. Now again we have got two like fractions children. And all of you know how easy it is to subtract like fractions. We have to just subtract the numerators. 15 minus 4 is 11. So the answer is 11 upon 20. Okay, last sum. I am sure all of you would have mastered the art of subtraction of unlike fractions by now. It's very easy. Now 1 upon 4 minus 1 upon 6. So we are going to multiply 1 and 4 by which number? By 6. And in this fraction we are going to multiply 1 and 6 by which number? By 4. Okay. 1 into 6 upon 4 into 6 minus 1 into 4 upon 6 into 4. Okay. 1 6 are 6 and 4 6 are 24. 1 4 are 4 and 6 4 are 24. Children see again we got two like fractions. Now 6 upon 24 minus 4 upon 24 is equal to 2 upon 24. So children, it is so easy. I hope you would have understood. This is how we are supposed to do addition and subtraction of unlike fraction. Please practice. Why? Because practice makes a man perfect. And I want all my students to be perfect in all what they do. Okay, children, enjoy doing maths. As I know, you all love maths. That's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.